Well, we're uh, uh, finally, finally uh, to this moment, and um, I'm just really excited, um, you know, about uh, watching our name uh, come across the screen tonight, and um, it's been a long 10 days uh, for this group to wait uh, to kind of see our fate, and um, we're just, uh, one, feel very fortunate to um, be one of the, the 64 teams that are going to be playing uh, in, in the NCAA tournament, and um, really, really um, just want to make sure that, um, uh, you know, I, I talk about our league a little bit because the Big Ten is such an incredible league. Um, and uh, night in and night out, uh, this is what we prepare ourselves for, playing the best. Um, and we, we uh, are to the moment now where, um, you know, all the work that we've done in the Big Ten, playing great opponents, uh, our kids playing some tremendous players, our staff happen to go up against some of the best coaches in the country, um, have uh, certainly prepared us for this moment, uh, the NCAA tournament. So. I uh, want to make sure that I give credit where credit's due, and that's to the Big Ten. Um, and um, just reiterate how excited we are and fortunate we feel um, that we're in this position tonight that uh, we're going to be playing uh, once again on Saturday. I think it's great, uh, you know, from a travel perspective, um, you know, from a fan perspective, uh, I don't think that we could have asked for um, as far as proximity, location, uh, for a lot of our, um, you know, the parents, families, friends of our, our players uh, and our staff to be able to, uh, you know, travel uh, the distance uh, and, our, and our friends here and, and administration and, and so forth in Indiana uh, to be able to, uh, you know, uh, travel up to South Bend, um, you know, will we'll certainly, uh, I think, uh, bode well for us as far as uh, a fan, our fans being able to travel because uh, um, I think we'll have, you know, quite a few, um, I know this, quite a few families uh, that'll, that'll be there in attendance. Well, we, we've, uh, we've tried to, um, you know, we, we've really gone two days off, one day on, um, and, uh, you know, we, we did some recruiting throughout those 10 days as well, but um, it, uh, we used it wisely. Uh, I think we, we uh, were able to, to um, maintain, uh, you know, our cardio because we were, our, we still had our, our guys, we're still here, our practice guys. Um, and so we played quite a bit, scrimmaged quite a bit, got up and down the floor. Um, and, uh, you know, we, were, we put them in game situations. Uh, when I say scrimmage a lot, you know, it, uh, we put different scenarios, situations up on the clock that, that we went through this year or that we potentially could go through. Um, so there were a lot of um, game management situations that we, we tried to go through with them uh, with the help of our, our men's squad. So um, it was great work. The last two days, they've been incredible. Yesterday, we had probably one of our best practices um, that uh, you know, it's it, and not that and these guys have always come focused and ready to go, but in terms of our, our competitive level, right after the Big Ten tournament, it seemed like we were a little bit, we were tired. You know, we were fatigued, uh, especially those those kids like Tyra and Lex uh, and Cahill that have, have logged a lot of minutes. Um, and so it was kind of nice that uh, I feel like for the first time in, in several days that uh, – they, they had some life to them. They, they had some energy about them. Um, I thought Tyra was really good yesterday from start to finish um, and didn't seem like fatigue was a factor. And I thought early on after the Big Ten uh, tournament was over, uh, those, those couple days, even though we took uh, the weekend off, she came back, she still look a, looked a little tired. So, um, yeah, I think we've, um, we've regained that. Uh, I know that as, as – Every day got a little bit closer to Selection Monday. Our kids got a little bit more excited. Um, and um, today they weren't worth much. They were, they were just too excited about, uh, you know, the night. Um, and uh, even though it was, a sh it was a kind of a, a light shoot around, uh, we did work on some, some things. But uh, 
uh, keeping their attention was a, a tall challenge. Um, and uh, it didn't, it didn't um, bothers me as much because, um, you know, I was, I was kind of um, a lot like them, really uh, uh, eager um, to, uh, to get to 7 o'clock. Well, I think there's there's always um, you always allow a, a little bit of, of that to, to creep in your mind because you pay attention to bracketology and and um, but everybody on the you know that I spoke to um, as far as coaching my colleagues um, kept reassuring me that uh, there was no question that we were going to be in um, but it, nothing's guaranteed. Right, and so you wait until your your name's called, and you see it flash across the TV, and then it becomes, uh, you know, it's it, they're not going to be able to take it back from us, right? And uh, um, so we're legit, we're in, uh, we're excited, and um, you know, I know that uh, nobody's more happier for those those kids in that room uh, than their coach. Sure. Well, it's, you know, I think one of the things that, that perhaps will help this group is, is um, coming up short the way we did in the Big Ten tournament. You know, we, um, that was awfully disappointing, you know, for us. Um, and, and it's kind of similar situations. We had some time off, um, and then we, we came out flat. So, uh, you know, the good thing is that we're not going to have any more time off. It's, it's go time. It's practice time. And, and uh, you know, we got the next couple days to, to really dig into Georgia and uh, prepare for them and put together a scouting report. So, um, you know, our preparation is not going to be any different. It's, it's probably good that we finally have – a team to prepare for, you know, for this group because, um, you know, for them, they're, they, like I said, their focus has been tremendous throughout the entire season. Um, but this is a group that wants to know who they're going to be playing and wants to really dig into their personnel um, and wants to see on film, you know, how their style of play, uh, both offensively and defensively. Um, so I think we're, we're uh, to a point now where, um, you know, our kids have an idea well, they know who we're going to be playing. Um, so I, I think their attention to detail and their focus and, and their energy level is going to be uh, great. But I think that there's, um, you know, something about knowing who you're going to be playing, which is going to help um, with this group. Do you know anything about Georgia? Well, you know, I know that, uh, you know, many uh, – several years ago when I was at Georgia Tech, you know, obviously Georgia, Georgia, Georgia Tech, that's always – it's like Purdue IU, right? Um, rivalry and um, you know I at the time Andy Landers was the head coach uh, his assistant now is Joy is, is the head coach um, so in terms of style of play I mean you know the SEC we have a tremendous amount of respect for that league and uh, it's an athletic league um, you know I know they're going to be missing um, their leading score that uh, is out um, second leading score that that's out um, and uh, but but they have some really good pieces uh, and they've won a lot of games. And, um, you know, there's, there's no question that they're good enough to be in the tournament. And, um, and uh, so we, uh, we know when you get to this point, everybody you play is going to be good. And um, so that will be uh, – and our kids are – they know that. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll know a little bit more – or I will know a little bit more tomorrow after I get my eyes on them tonight uh, with film as, as well as our staff. Um, and we'll uh, resume – come back here tomorrow at 3 o'clock and, and start our preparation for them. Do you uh, call Coach Joseph at all? I do call Coach Joseph, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things about being in um, our coaching sorority fraternity uh, is that, um, you know, I got a lot of – colleagues and friends that, um, you know, want to see the Hoosiers do well. So I've had uh, several texts of people that want to send me information and call and, and help uh, with our preparation. So that's really special to me. But, uh, yeah, Coach Joe and I will, I'm sure, talk tonight. Sure. Well, I do. I think we – I don't – I hope we learned something from that. Um, and again, we just, um, 
you know, I've watched that film, what, now three times just to try to come up with a solution of why we, we, we um, just seemed so flat um, and, and didn't have many answers. Uh, and there were a lot of reasons. We did, we defensively, we were, we were disconnected. Uh, offensively, we could find no rhythm. And, um, you know, I think it, it was one of those opportunities that, um, you know, you guys have heard me say this before, sometimes you, you learn more from a loss than you do a win. And, um, you know, I, I know that um, our kids will approach Saturday's game probably far different than they approached uh, the first game of the Big Ten tournament. You know, um, why? Because it was very disappointing and disheartening. And they had to watch it on film too, uh, their poor play. Um, and so there's, there's something about having, um, you know, a, a, another season that we can, uh, we don't have to wait, you know, for, for a whole nother um, year uh, or summer or however many months that is until next year um, to, to kind of um, learn our lesson. You know, hopefully um, we did uh, learn something from that. And uh, like I said, I would anticipate and suspect that uh, uh, this group will come out far different than they did on uh, like they did against in the Big Ten tournament. And what do you think about the region in general? Obviously, if you want to make a run, um, it's, it's <laughs> right in gym. their home gym, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, I we've obviously I paid attention to the bracket, but uh, John, I'm I'm boring. I'm going to bore you again with uh, telling you that the only the only um, you know the only opponent we're worried about right now is Georgia. And we're not going to look ahead. Um, you, you know this. We've, we've maintained, that, uh, maintained that mantra throughout uh, our Big Ten season. And the next game's the most important um, game. And uh, that's not going to kind of, that's, that's not going to change in terms of our approach uh, to the NCAA tournament. Else? Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks Yes, we were really excited, a little bit nervous. Um, we've never really been in this position before, so it was a pretty awesome experience, and just knowing that we had the, at least the opportunity to be a part of it and um, getting the chance to actually be in it and have that feeling come to us was really cool. Yeah, what was that feeling like when you guys saw your name flash out there? Oh, I mean, we were all excited. I think everyone jumped off the couch, you know, and we were just <laughs> hugging each other, and. Uh, you know, we kind of did a little dance after, but, you know, we were just really excited. And um, like I said, you know, we were excited for each other and for the coaches and just to see the coaches so happy and they were giving hugs around, you know, and just our teammates just being happy for each other. It was really, it was a really um, special moment that I will never forget. I guess at the same time, I mean, how quickly do you turn your thoughts to Georgia? I imagine you probably haven't had much time to study them, but just how quickly do you sort of turn the page to getting ready for Saturday? Uh, you know, it starts tomorrow. Um, yeah, like you said, we don't know much about them, but, you know, tomorrow we'll get face pages, um, do a lot of preparation, you know, focus on them a lot. What has the layoff been like since the Big Ten tournament? Obviously, you had that one game, and mm -hmm. now kind of what have you guys been doing since then? Um, yeah, we kind of got a couple of days off, and then, uh, you know, we've just been working on ourselves this week, and we've just been doing, you know, fundamental things on offense and defensively. Um, we got our practice uh, practice squads been in um, this past week, but they just left for spring break, so then we kind of have been scrimmaging and playing against each other. But, you know, we've just been working on ourselves and um, how we can get better each day. Oh, a lot better. Um, you know, I've been dreaming of this moment since my freshman year coming in here. So, you know, now that I have the opportunity to, you know, play in the NCAA tournament, you know, it means a lot. You guys don't have to travel far. Like, staying in state, what does that mean to you guys? Yeah, it's um, really awesome. I mean, Hoosier Nation's so cool, and it, they're everywhere. But especially staying in our home state is really awesome. So we're looking forward to going up to South Bend, and hopefully a lot of fans will come and support us, and it'll be cool. And being the way they Um, yeah, I mean, we weren't very happy with how we played at, um, in the, against Northwestern and Indy. So, I mean, we've been working hard. And I don't necessarily think it's something we're going to prove. I think we've moved past that and just continued to work on things. I think that game exposed. So I think we're more using that as a learning block and preparing us for the future and this upcoming Saturday. What kind of 
kind of things did that game prepare us? I mean, it was more time to reflect on it. What did you guys learn from that? What, what, um, what, what can you take away from that game? Um, definitely just our communication and just kind of our lack of energy and uh, our intensity, you know. Like Amanda said, we were really disappointed in how we, how we played that game, the whole 40 minutes. Um, we kind of, you know, we kind of got some momentum, um, you know, during the th um, end of the third quarter there, but uh, we just could never, you know, get over that hump and we could never um, take the lead. And I think, you know, just like Amanda said, we're going to, we, we learned a lot from that. You know, we got in, um, in the film the next day and, uh, you know, we uh, um, cleared up some things. And I just think that uh, that's definitely going to be a good, um, learning piece for us.